To lose everything is to gain something. And that's all I really wanted. Something. The doctor who examined me couldn't find anything wrong. She showed me words and had me remember them. Tuesday, Saturday, Wednesday, yesterday. No matter what they tried, they came out blank. My fingers revealed no pattern or print. Even on paper, I didn't exist. Take this off, put this on. It's cleaner. Thanks. Okay. Anything coming back? Listen, um, here's a list of uh, missing women. I want you to read the names, all right? See if any of them fit. Yeah. What about the city? The city? When they took you out last night, did any place seem familiar? A street, a park. No. Not nothing. You don't remember anything. Remember. I was happy before. They told me I appeared out of nowhere, lying dead in a cul-de-sac. Not a thing to mark me, not even a piece of jewelry, a tattoo. You all right, lady? Can you tell me your name or what happened? When the police came over to me, I opened my eyes and looked up at them, like I had just come into the world. One of the officers said he'd never seen anything like it. He said I was so weak and pale. He was sure I was a ghost. I told him I couldn't be, since even ghosts have names.
His name is Paul. Recognize him? No. He's your husband. No. He thinks he's your husband. His wife went missing a few years ago. No one knew where. Some people thought she'd run off with the milkman. Though he swore that it wasn't the case. See, but then he saw your picture. Well, what about my family? Don't I have parents or brothers or sisters? It's just the two of you. No extended family. surprised what seeing a loved one can do. It's happened before. The memories come rushing back. How easy it was to deceive him. The stranger who wanted so badly for me to be her. Memory can be a devious device. Flawed, like any other thing. What we remember, what we don't. It's all subject to will. For me, remembering wasn't the problem. was to forget. And that's just what I did. 